Hey everybody, this is Edger Joe and welcome to another video in my series on the basics of Python. Um, in the previous f um, few videos we've been looking at the if statement and how to make decisions in Python. And in this video we're going to write a program to determine whether or not a letter that the user has entered is a vowel or a consonant. A vowel or a consonant. So um, obviously you need to know the alphabet. We're going to use the English alphabet, which go from A to Z. And um, we apply decomposition. So we're going to look at, uh, there's 26 letters of the alphabet. There are five that are vowels, A, E, I, O, and U. There's one that is either a vowel or a consonant, that's the, the Y. And then the other 21 letters are all consonants. So um, the method I'm going to use now, um, if we apply decomposition, it's better to start with the vowels, with the vowels first. So if we eliminate the vowels and then use the Y, and then the else part will just be all, uh, the rest will just be consonants. So we're just uh, breaking it down like that. Cool. Let us start. So we're going to say letter. This is what the user is going to um, enter. So in terms of the input, I'm going to say um, enter a letter. Any spelling mistakes? Nope. I've got that all cool. And then we're going to look at the vowels in the if statement. So if letter is double equals to A, if that is true, obviously we're going to print it's a vowel, but we've got four more other letters to go. So we're going to use a Boolean operator called OR, and this is then, uh, we're going to do this five times, and then this will show us um, exactly. We might run out of, out of space, so I may have to um, apply some formatting um, here as well. That's three, four, five. And um, let's have a look. A, E, I, O, and then you can't see the U now because that's out of your screen. That's a U. So we're going to have to break this. We're going to have to break this down. So if letter double equals A, or letter double equals E, or letter double equals I, or letter double equals whatever. So I'm going to. I'll just break it here. I'm going to break it there. I'm going to press Enter. I'm going to tab once just for that, and um, I'll put a colon there. Now this will provide a. Um, this is going to give us an error message because you can't break the lines like that. But I want to show you it's an error message, and then I will show you how to fix it. So for now, you can see it's A, E, I, O, and U. We've got a Boolean operators to separate it. So you can see um, we've got multiple statements um, where we say any one of them has to be true for this actually to execute. And then we're going to, if I just go after that one and press Enter, um, we've got a very, um, uh, that's not going to work. I'll do the tab there. We're going to put a print. I'm going to use the F string um, again because we want to say letter. Letter is a vowel. If that is true, letter is a vowel. Right, so let me show you. I'm going to run this now and you'll see we get an error uh, because we broke this one and I'll show you how to fix it. So F5 enter. It's got a syntax error there. It says invalid syntax. Remember, syntax is the rules of programming and it's not happy with that. So how we fix it is we start off and we put this whole um, five conditions into a into brackets. That means it starts over there and it finishes over here. And then uh, Python thinks that's all one thing and we won't get this error now. If I run that, see, there's no error now. Now I can put, let's say, I and I is a vowel. So that is perfect. I'll just put a full stop there. So that is perfect. That works out fine. So that sorts um, that out. I just want to see if my if my word it is 25. So that's fine. So that's big enough. Cool. So that part works. Again, you can enter. You can do whatever you want there. I'll just um, I'll just do that so you can see. If you wanted to, you could have you could have gone um, maybe like that as well. And I'll run this again. You'll see it'll be fine. There's no there's no problem. It'll do either time. Isabel, it's not a problem whatsoever. Cool. Now we're going to the LF section. So now we're going to look at the um, Y. So we're going to say, so if if the user types a Y, a Y is either a, a vowel or a consonant um, depending on the situation. So um, let's have a look at what this will do. So we're going to print, actually I don't have to, I can copy this, copy that, paste. Uh, F is either either a vowel or a consonant, a consonant. So there it is, either a vowel or a consonant. If I've entered, we're testing the program, 
Why? It's either a vowel or a consonant. So if you didn't know this, sometimes um, an Y can be a vowel. Um, that means if it's sort of um, something like uh, my, um, if it's the only, uh, <laughs> it's the, there's no other normal vowels in the letter like uh, my or um, something like that, it's a, it's a vowel. And uh, when it's a consonant is if it's in uh, like the start of, like yard. Yard is the start of a, of a word, um, the start of a, a syllable, um, all of that. And it's a, it's a vowel if it's at the end of a word, if it's the only, let's say, vowel in there, um, like my, or it's at the, the end of a syllable um, or a word, it is a vowel. Cool. And then we need our consonants. So we're going to do the else now. And this one is pretty straightforward. Um, it is a consonant. Consonant. The letter is a consonant. Right, so let's test that one. If I've enter, so we'll go for K. K is a consonant. Perfect. So we've done that. We've tested whether or not it's uh we tested the E and the I, so we know this works. Um, we also looked at how to break up if it's a long statement, how to break it up with a um, open and closing rounded brackets. We looked at when it was a Y. If that is true, it'll do this. And then if it's if that is not true and that is not true, then it can only fit into this one. The problem you do have with that is if I do F5 and I put in, let's say, 23, it's also going to tell me it's a consonant. Um, but we are assuming that someone is only entering um, A to Z. And they are w once we get to the more advanced stuff where you could do some... Uh, validation and stuff like that and then we can make sure that these things work okay so that was um, one method that we can do it but it is a bit messy if you um, want to split up those um, uh, the if statement it can get a bit messy so I want to show you just a different way slightly more advanced but just bear with me and then I will show you what um, I'm going to do so I'm going to create a, an, um, a a variable called vowels um, I'll just say, yeah, I'll say vowels, and I'm going to say, I'm going to put in a string, and I'm just going to put all the uh, the vowels in there, so A, E, um, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, and U, A, I, U, so that's fine, and then we've got our input, and then instead of having this long um, five statements over here, I'm just going to go um, like that, and I'm going to say, um, if letter in... So if the value of whatever you typed here, if the value of letter can be found inside um, vowels, which is any one of those bits of string, if it finds it there, then um, it's also true. So if, if letter in vowels, so if it finds it, if it finds whatever you typed here, whatever you typed here that is stored here, if it finds it there, it still makes this true and then the rest um, should work out as well. So let's have a test quickly. Let's go to F5 enter, and I'm going to say enter letter A. A is a vowel. And I'll run it again. F5 enter, E, E is a vowel. And then I, F5 enter, I is a vowel. And as you can see, it works perfectly, um, but it's much less code. I, A, E, I, O, and then U remains. And then U remains, there we go. So it's all perfect all perfect um, if letter in vowels we can also just make sure that you don't think um, it's not so that it's either a vowel or a consonant and if I just go with M or something um, or Z or something like that I'll go Z that is a consonant so that's absolutely fine so this is just a much easier way slightly more advanced but a much easier way where you check whatever has been entered here whatever that value is if you can find it in this um, variable if you find it here, um, it, it's a bit more advanced and I'll explain much better once we get to dictionaries and stuff like that. But uh, for now, all you need to know, it checks whether or not it finds whatever has been entered here. If it finds that in there anywhere, it'll see it as a uh, as true. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's quite a um, little bit of advanced things we learned at the end there, um, but it's all good. If you learn it from the start, then it makes a, a big difference. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.